Hello everyone, my name is Om Priya and I'm an educator of Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy website and you can also download Unacademy learning app. So let's talk about the subject. So in this particular lesson, we will be dealing with the, one of the most important theorem that is maximum power transfer theorem. Right. So if you like my courses, then follow me, rate and recommend my courses. And also don't forget to give it a big thumb and you can also subscribe on your channel. Thank you. So let me tell you something about the lecture pattern here. So friends, first we'll take a gate previous year question, then the related theory. So our today's related theory is maximum power transfer theorem that we will use in this gate previous year question. And by the end of the lecture, we will solve that question. So this is our lecture pattern, very effective lecture pattern. You must follow it for the long memory if you really want to learn a subject and you want to keep that particular topic in your mind for a long duration then please follow this pattern and this is also efficient during the revision time now let's start our journey here we have one question in the circuit shown below circuit is given this is two marks question asked in 2017 set one the maximum power transferred to the resistor R. Here, they are asking the power across this resistor, right? So, we have to find the maximum power to this resistor R. We can also apply here to find out the power. We can easily able to find out the current and voltage across it and you know P equals to VI. So with the help of it, we can also solve it, but by using KVL and KCL. But this circuit is quite complex, so that is why we are using a maximum power transfer theorem. So let's see the magic of maximum power transfer theorem. I am explaining here the maximum power transfer theorem for DC circuit only. I'll tell you the maximum power transfer theorem. To the AC circuit later on. So maximum power will transfer to the load when the value of load resistance is equal to the Thevenin equivalent resistance. See this is a DC circuit complicated circuit and here is R load RL load. So if you really want to find a maximum power transfer theorem then this load resistance value should be equal to the Thevenin equivalent resistance. So Thevenin equivalent resistance is nothing but our RTH. So it should be equal if you want to find out the maximum power transfer theorem. So what is the derivation of MPT, maximum power transfer theorem? Let's see. Here we need to convert into this Thevenin structure and load resistance should be equal to RTH. So for that purpose, here we have our Thevenin structure. To find out the current, I am writing here voltage divided by the total resistance RTH and RL. You know the power in terms of current and resistance P equals to I square into RL. This particular load resistance. And we know the value of current, so I am substituting here the current value. So on putting this current value in this formula, you will get VTH divided by RTH plus RL whole square and multiply it with RL. So on differentiating power with respect to RL, here and equating to 0, you will get this long term. In which VTH square in bracket RTH plus RL square minus 2 RL in bracket RL plus RTH bracket close. Then divided by RTH plus RL power 4 equated to 0. So on solving you will get this particular term equals to 0. You can easily cancel out with this one power. And remaining circuit left at this. So friend, you can say that RL equals to RTH. 
with help of this particular equation right so this is how you can easily able to find out the maximum power transfer theorem and this is a derivation of maximum power transfer theorem all you need to find out the rth vth and equate rl to the rth you will able to find the maximum power transfer theorem at the end we will find out the power so let's see here is solution for finding a rth you know how to find a rth so this was our question and we need to find the rth across this terminal so for finding a rth all we need to do short circuit the voltage source and open circuit the current source right so here we have open circuit the current source this is our rl load resistance and for the maximum power transfer theorem we should know that rd should be rl equal so i'm finding the rth value here across this point how to find it's 5 ohm and 5 ohm so in parallel you can easily able to find out and you will get 2.5 ohm then applying a KCL at the node to find out the VTH. So here for the RL, just open circuit it. You will find the VTH. So let's apply the KCL at the node. That one current is going this side, one current is going this side. So I am writing here VTH minus 5 volt divided with the 5 ohm plus in this particular case VTH here I'm writing plus because when you're going this side here it's minus so it will add up this and adding these two voltages you will get 16 16 divided by 5 ohm equated to 0 right on solving you will get 2 VTH equals to minus 11 and VTH is equals to minus 5.5 volt. For maximum power transfer theorem, this is our maximum power transfer theorem final expression of power that is VTH square divided by 4RL. Right? We already find it find out the VTH and VTH value is 5.5. Let's substitute it. It's a square 4 into RL. RL values here. 2.5 ohm and all solving you will get the maximum power that is 3.025 ohm right so 3.025 ohm is our correct answer but uh, this value can you see this ohm this should not be ohm this short should be in watt so it's written by mistake so friend maximum power transfer is 3.025 0 to 5 watt here it will be watt so this is how you can easily able to find out the maximum power transfer theorem so final expression you should know this should be your final expression of maximum power transfer theorem for DC circuit you have to find VTH and RL in place of RL you will put the RTH right so this is all about our today's lecture. If you like the lecture pattern, then please write your comment into the comment box so that I can get to know uh, whether you like this lecture or not. Thank you.